I was super excited about this movie. The trailers look like a cross between Die Hard, Boondock Saints. I thought it was going to be this goofy, fun comedy, like almost like a parody action movie. Right. And it was not. It was, it was wild. Did you like it? it? Was, I hated it. Uh, I didn't care for it. I, I was pretty disappointed because I thought the same as you. Uh, and then it just, I don't even know how to describe what kind of movie this was. It, it was, uh, it was a it was rated, not that great. It was a rated R workaholics. Well, that, and that's what I, I told Chris. I said, it's just a really long episode of workaholics. Yeah. It wasn't, which, uh, what you would think would be cool. Cause I love the workaholics. This is, uh, nah. Well, there's, so when it comes to like TV shows, something like workaholics or, um, always sunny and like different shows that are kind of restricted by what they're able to do and say and show. There's like a, an, an extra bit of comedy that comes with that because it's, right. you're, they're like, they're having to get around it, right? They're having to make you think of something that's happening or, you know, and yeah. this was just like, we're just going to do everything we want to do. And it was just, I don't know, it just wasn't funny. Like the, no. the, when he, took his pants off and pretended like he hung himself. Uh -huh. Like, where's the joke? The joke was, oh, here's a penis. You know what I mean? That was the whole joke. That was the what they wanted you to think was funny. And Yeah, pretty much. That's not a joke. It's like, it's, that's it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, that's ridiculous, but it's not. Th th that's it. Like, that's... And that's how I felt yeah. like everything was in this movie. Yeah, it was uh it was pretty disappointing. Did you enjoy any of this movie? Um I was pretty frustrated almost the whole time. There wasn't a lot I liked. It you know what it really felt like was an R rated Adam Sandler movie. Ugh, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, it's game over, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that wouldn't be good. I, um, this, I was just, it was so disappointing because I was really looking forward to it. And, uh, what's his name? Adam Devine? Yeah. So he's kind of elevated his game, right? Since Workaholics, he's, he, he, he does all kinds of stuff while the other guys kind of, I don't know, not so much. Yeah. And so, when I saw that they were all going to be back doing something, I was, I, that's, I was just super excited for it. Uh, and then really let down. Yeah. Well, like, so in workaholics, right? They're all kind of dirt bags and lazy and slackers and just try to get right. drunk and high all the time. But there's like this idea of good heartedness in that even, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that, yeah. that they care about each other. And, you know, that they're, like, good people even though they don't act like it. Yeah, Do you, right. you know what I'm saying? No, I, I know what you're saying. And so they're likable. And in this, no one was really likable. Nope. Like, okay, so I, I guess we should go through the plot somewhat. They they work at a, a hotel. They're bus boys, right? Or bu uh, bell boys. Bell hops. They're not waiters. Not waiters. They wanted to let you know that. <laughs> and, uh, they are just getting high and like, I don't even know. They, they're, they're just slacking off. They're not, they're, they're working, they're working on the video game, right? Yeah. The skin Tindo that I still didn't fully understand. Uh, yeah. What so the, that game was <laughs> the skin Tindo was a controller that you just wear. Okay, let me let me rephrase. I I understood. I I think I understood their main uh concept, but I, I I couldn't figure out their like buddy system thing that they kept talking about. So I think that idea was you wear a suit and then your buddy wears another suit that makes it move. 
But like uh, an, but like an exosque- exoskeleton type thing. Why? Uh, I don't know. But but does he make you move in the game, or he just makes you move in real life? In real life. What? <laughs> See, I don't, I don't get it. Like that doesn't seem interesting to me at all. <laughs> Unless I'm I'm missing something. I don't know. I would make you it walk just into seems traffic. Stupid. Exactly. So I, that's why would I spend money on this thing? Yeah, no, I don't know. That that part was dumb. Uh, it was it, it it felt like it was all just to have that scene later on where they used it. Oh, 100%. But like they, it's like they came up with that first and then they built their way backwards. Yeah. To to get there. It didn't make any sense to me. And I, I I was down with the game. That was fine, mm-hmm. but but that whole new idea that they had for the the buddy play or whatever it just made no sense. Yeah, like I could not grasp it whatsoever because it's like a game, yet also it's something that's you can play with outside of being a video game. I don't, I don't like it. I don't care for it. I want it <laughs> gone. Um, yeah, no, it, it is dumb. The so they're. They have aspirations to make this video game. Uh, Adam Devine is kind of the, the leader of the group, although no one respects him because he doesn't offer anything other than taking charge. Yeah. Like that's all he does. He's not smart. Yeah. He's not smart. He says, you do it. You, or you figure it out and you make it happen and let's get this done is basically his type of leadership, which is terrible. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not great. Under Holmes. Is a, he's like the biggest druggie of them all. I think that's fair to say. Uh, yeah, cause do we even see the other two do drugs at all? I don't think so. Or is it just him? I think it's just him. I think it's just him. And he gets high it's a few uh, times and like yeah. really, really like bad trips every time. It mess, it, yeah, it messes him up pretty good. Um, but I hate his character. I, I really don't enjoy the characters he plays. They're all like it, suave, cool white guys that are, they're all white right. guys who think they're suave and cool, but are just kind of obnoxious. But that's all that comes across is the obnoxious part. So do you not like him in workaholics? Uh, I think I like him the most in workaholics. Because I th- I think it works in that context. Yeah. Well, because he's kind of like, the leader in Workaholics, right? Like he's kind of the one who's the most mature. In right air quotes. <laughs> Be- because yeah, bec- yeah, he is. He's the most level at least. But the the difference is okay in this right. They have to be at least a little bit smart. I mean, they created a like a a video game that's got a lot of potential, right? Yeah. So they can't be like dumb. But then they think that they're – I I don't know if my point <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> but like in, in Workaholics, they think that they're that same level of, of smart and genius. But, but they're not yeah. because it's, they're just dumb, the, right? They don't have good ideas. They're just getting they drunk on the roof. They, they work at a telemarketing company. Oh, like, they're not smart at all. Taylor's Burn on <laughs> anyone who works at a telemarketer company <laughs> or who has ever done at least one phone call for a telemarketing company. I believe that you fall into that category. I do. I did it for two weeks and it is tough. Yeah, I try. It's so, I, I, I'm so unqualified that I, I'm pretty sure I applied like three different times <laughs> and never even got like a call back. <laughs> Oh. So I, 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 I didn't have what it takes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and- Anders but yeah. <laughs> is just annoying throughout this entire movie. Um, he doesn't come across as the character he's supposed to be. He doesn't come across he as he the, he the druggie. He doesn't come across as the smart guy. He's, I don't know. He just feels so out of place in this. Uh, and then Blake Anderson is yeah. the closeted gay guy who right. is a super genius when it comes to building stuff, which also did not come across very well. I never, uh, I never bought that he knew what he was doing. They never even show him make anything. They say like, "Oh, let's do this," and then it's done. It just cuts to it being done. 
he MacGyvered it and it's, it's done. Yeah, but they don't even show him like tinkering, right? Like, and no. the tinkering aspect, I think, plays a big role in making it believable. You see someone like putting things together and figuring it out. It's a, it's a added bit of realism of like, oh yeah, this is, he actually had to think about it and figure it out, not just cut, here it is. Right. Yeah, it, none of them were very believable whatsoever. Then, so they're, they're working at this hotel and they have to be waiters for, um, what's his name? What's it like? Uh, yeah, I, Ways? I couldn't even tell you. What was his? Oh no, he was, he was Bay. Bay. Why don't I see him on IMDb? He's like halfway through the freaking list. He's like under Steve O. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, Bay. Um, <clears throat> so this guy who plays Bay, I, can you pronounce his name? I'm not even gonna try. Uh, Utkar M. Butkar? He plays this same character very often. Like the cool, hip hop y. What else is he from? I don't Pitch Perfect. I, I thought he looked. Mindy okay, Project. That's, that's where I recognize him from Pitch Perfect. Um, uh, I don't watch Mindy Project. But he, he kind of plays that same, like, smooth yeah. guy. And. He, I don't know, he, he's also not very believable to me. Like, I think he was probably the most believable out of I'll, all the characters. I would say he, I, I believed it, I just didn't care for his character. Oh, this, like, he was just, he was a little too over the top for me. Yeah. When he's talking about his, was it, like, pet hyena? <laughs> I don't remember that. No. Pet hyena, no. It's like, okay, it might not be hyena. I'm trying to remember what animal he's talking about. He has a dead animal? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't... (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, no. Wasn't that a hyena? I don't think so. That was just a chihuahua. No, 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 no. Not as... No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it's not good. Yeah, no, all the none of the jokes, all the jokes are just look how ridiculous this thing that we're doing is. Can you believe that we did this thing? It's so crazy. Yeah. And I don't know, like twelve year old boys are gonna really like this movie. Oh, of course. Yeah, I probably would have liked this like in high school, maybe. Yeah, but there's but, nothing. There's zero substance. To this entire thing. No. And so Bay gets kidnapped and held for ransom by his own press manager. Is that what he is? Essentially, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't even tell what that guy's role was supposed to be. Bodyguard? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think he was a bodyguard. He was probably just like a manager type person. Um, but it, they, they're there, they sell him the idea on this Contendo, he gives them money in to, like, stick it to the manager, then they, uh, are leaving, the the, their boss takes back their check and gives it back to them, and so they're like, they get fired and they're on their way out, and right when they're leaving, they take over, the bad guys take everything over. So now they're in the hotel, they know the bad guys have taken over, and they are right. trying their, to fight Their main back. mission is to get that check back. Yeah. They don't really... That's really all they care about. They're not trying to save anyone, they're not trying to be heroes, they just want to get their money and get out of there. Yeah. Um. Then they kill a bunch of people uh, on accident. Yeah, over and over. on accident. So that's, that was the Pretty reason much. I thought it was going to be like Boondock Saints. Because okay. Boondock Saints uh, is pretty creative when it comes to that, where uh-huh. they like they show the aftermath, right? And the police show up and look at everything, and they're like, "Wow, this must have been done by professionals." Like, look at this and look at that, and they're like breaking it down, and then they go back and show you what actually happened, and they right. they accidentally fall through yeah, the vent. I like where this is going. Uh huh. 
And, you know, and so like all. So it's, it's like that. And it looks like super hitmen came through and it turns out everything they did was on accident. Yeah. That's a much, much better movie. Yes. That- we, let's just make that movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait, it's Boondock Saints. Cut this out. <laughs> cut this. Well, Boondock Saints, but with your idea, where none of it is done on on purpose. Well, Boondock Saints, everything was an accident. Well, yeah, but they're there to kill people anyway, yeah. right? It just yeah. doesn't go according to plan. Yeah. Yeah, no, so I that's this- what I expected this to be, where they were just accidentally killing people and making it seem like they're John McClane. Like the, I thought they were going to be terrified and continually killing people by accident. Yeah. But the bad guys were going to be terrified because they're like, these super spies are coming at us. What do we do? And just everyone being afraid of each other just keeps escalating things and people just keep making worse and worse choices. Yeah, I agree. Have you, okay, so have you seen the movie? It's, it's, it's not a big movie. It's called The Other or The Wrong Guy. It sounds familiar. I don't know if I've seen it. If you if you might have seen it at at our house, we we had it on on VHS a long Ooh. time ago. Uh, it's got uh, Dave. You know Dave Foley. Yeah. Okay, so he's the main guy, and it's he he's really dumb. He works at this company, and uh, basically he he's like in line for a big promotion, and he's real excited about it. And then turns out uh, it goes to someone else, right? Uh-huh. And so he like he's upset. He leaves his bosses off. His boss is a jerk or whatever. He leaves. Well, in the meantime, someone had hired a hitman to kill the the boss, right? So the hitman comes in, sneaks in, kills the guy, and leaves. Well, as as Dave Full is leaving, he decides he's like, you know what? No, I'm gonna go tell my boss how I really feel this and that. So he like storms back in and is yelling and screaming and slamming stuff around and doesn't even realize that his boss is dead. So then he finally figures it out, and he he's afraid that he's going to get framed for the for this murder because mm-hmm. he went in there with like intentions of like yelling out and ripping him apart and everything. So he he goes on the run, right? Well, the cops come in and they figure out immediately who it is, and they don't even suspect that it's Dave Foley. <laughs> so I mean, he doesn't know that, and and the hitman also ends up fleeing from the from the police, and like they always end up at the same. Spot, right? Yeah. So wherever the Dave Foley is, the hitman ends up there because they're like going across different state lines and everything. And the police are hot on this guy's tail. So Foley thinks the police are right on him because everywhere he goes, the cops are there. The hitman thinks that Dave Foley is like some kind of super agent who's like <laughs> tracking him, like no problem. And it's like this big kind of like what you're saying, like everyone is afraid of the other person. Uh, it, I don't know. It's 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 pretty funny. Yeah, it's 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 stupid, but it's 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 that same type of concept. It's pretty funny. Yeah, and so like if you take this movie and you add that concept to it, I think it it you build more room for natural comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the misunderstandings yeah, sure. and all that type of stuff. This I love a good misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> like the the. The jokes would then actually be based on a misunderstanding, not based on it being ridiculous. Do you know what I'm saying? Like right. that mm-hmm. you could you could laugh at, oh, they're confused and they're confused and they keep making choices based on their presumptions that are just wrong. And right. so that's where you're you're building the comedy up from instead of what they did was it, it really just felt very lazy towards everything and it was I, I agree. I was just very frustrated watching it. Um, <laughs> what did you think about the meat slicer scene? I thought that was creative. I thought that was pretty I, funny. I was going to say, as hard as it was to watch, you know, uh-huh. I thought it was pretty funny. Just like the it, the ridiculousness of it well, like, so, made it funny. So it worked in that situation. Well, it also worked because it was a joke, too. Because, so Adam Devine's character the whole time is like, I need to kill, I need to kill, you guys keep killing people, I haven't got any kills. And then his opportunity to kill someone, he's like struggling because he's like, I don't want to do this, like, sorry. You know, and he's like trying to kill the guy, (laughs) trying to figure out how to kill the guy, and then uh, just can't do it. (laughs) 
And yeah. so like that's that's a funny moment of like this is everything he wanted. He feels like he's this hero, this guy who can take care of things when the issues come up and yet he can't do it. Like that that and, is, and it was just a ridiculously like slow, agonizing scene. Yeah, even the guy's like, "Why are you doing this to me?" <laughs> like that's <laughs> just grinding his face off. That's all it's comedic. Like that. Right. That is an actual joke, and that's why it, it works. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was. I. I like I said, it, as hard as it was to watch, it was pretty funny. It worked. Um. And there, there wasn't a whole lot of other things that worked. To be honest, it just was. It, was, it felt bland, almost. Yeah, it, like it was very unengaging. There wasn't much going on, even though a lot was happening. There wasn't a ton going on. The, yeah, everyone was cartoony. Everyone was a joke character. No one, mm. no one was like the straight man. Do you know what I'm saying? Like everybody yeah. was uh uh just over the top. R- ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Um and I mean even the girl, even the girl who was trying to get a pr- the promotion who was like real straight laced. Um uh, she was r- very bothersome. She she was so ridiculous that it wasn't believable either. You know, in the opposite yeah. way where she's yeah. quoting parts of her manual at the bad guys Ugh. like yeah it's just i don't know it's just not to me i i just don't find that funny like it's not it's not a fun time to watch this movie i was i was shocked because i was so excited going into it i was like this is going to be a great movie this is going to be fun it's going to be funny like there's going to be it's going to be worth watching and it was yeah. none of those things no um I'd say probably the one of the only characters that I actually kind of liked was, and I don't even know his name or his name the, the 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 black guy who was like the the nerd, the computer guy. Yeah, he called himself the black nerd or whatever. Yeah, I thought that guy's character was pretty decent. Yeah, but he didn't do anything. Um, he made one no, joke about how he doesn't look like the guy from Die Hard, even though everyone keeps telling him he does, and that was it. Yeah, no, I mean, there wasn't much to that. It, that's, <laughs> there's not, it, it that's, that's, no, eh, no. Yeah, I, I think that I really, like, I mean, I know I've already said it, but I think this movie really would have done better had it been one of the groups being realistic and one of the groups being cartoonish. You know, like, yeah. whether it's yeah. the main cast being how they are versus a group of serious people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like real intense uh, hostages or hostage takers or yeah. the hostage takers are cartoonishly dumb and these guys are realistically scared, realistically scared. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it, if one of them would have acted the way they're supposed to, then you could have had something to for the comedy to be uh, compared to, just just opposed to, where it's like the it's the the contrast of, you know, oh, the, this is normal, but this is not like that. That conflict in your head is what will right. make you think it's funny, but when it's just like everybody's ridiculous, and then it's just okay, I got it. Like, why are you wasting my time? Yeah, and you know, another thing that stood out to me for some reason, so I remember watching the trailer, right, and they have that, that scene uh, with Shaggy. Yeah, and that wasn't in it, right? No, it was in it. Was it? Okay. Sorry, go ahead. I, I remember watching the trailer, and I saw that, and I, th- I remember thinking, like, that looks so funny, right? Mm-hmm. The moment comes up in the movie, and it's exactly the same, and I remember thinking, like, why did I think that was funny? It wasn't even that funny. <laughs> I don't even I don't know. I've... I don't know why... It was uh, when they, really early. I mean, it was pretty much right when they first took people hostage. Yeah. Well, okay. So, um, so like, even even going back to further my point that I keep making over and over, Steve-O's reaction, that was kind of a joke. Like, that, it wasn't very funny. Like, it wasn't a great moment because I think Steve-O's not the best actor. But when he was just like, 
okay, Knoxville, I get it. Like this is this is kind of dark, man. Like let's yeah. you know like he was acting like how he would if that was actually happening. If that really happened, yeah. or at least to some extent. Obviously, maybe he would assume they were actually hostage takers, but like it, it felt like a real moment. Even though it didn't land as super funny, like that's one of the moments that was like, oh yeah, no, that that makes sense. Like I, I get it. Like I don't know. Yeah, um, I didn't. I didn't really care for any of the cameos. Um, <laughs> Mark Cuban I, at the end. I was gonna say I especially hated Mark Cuban because I already don't like Mark Cuban. He bothers me a lot. And oh, I lost so you. for him, what'd you say? Can you hear me? You don't li- you don't like Mark Cuban? I already don't like Mark Cuban. He's he's very bothersome and annoying to me. And so for him to show up and then like be so unfunny just made me hate him even more. Yeah, he's uh I've never seen him act in anything that I appreciated him being in it. I'm like, oh just I don't know if I've even seen him actually act in anything. I just he bothers me as a person. I've seen him in a couple things. Um I mean I couldn't even th- I couldn't even tell you anything that he's been on. I'll tell you in a second. One sec. How do you spell his name? M A R K C U B A N. That's what I thought, but he's not coming up. Let's see. Shark Tank. He was in, let's see, actor. Billions, Game Over Man. He just plays himself in oh. everything. Yeah. Sharknado. His his IMDb picture does not look like him. <laughs> From yeah, he's when got it's a small. really stupid looking haircut. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Sharknado. I know him from that. The League. Yeah, but he just plays himself in like almost all of that stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But he can't even do that very well. Like every time he no, pops because up, he, he does do that well. He's just terrible. <laughs> He's really good at playing himself, which is just a terrible person. Maybe, maybe that's accurate. I don't know. I don't know Mark Cuban personally. I do, and I don't care for. Him. <laughs> well, anything else about Game Over, man? Anything we missed? They win. Um, they save the day. They. Don't make their skin tindo, but Mark Cuban. So the Bay was like, I was only giving you the money to stick it to my manager. I don't, I don't yeah. care about this skin tindo. Get out of here. And they're like, wow, you seem much nicer when you're a hostage. And then yeah. Mark Cuban pops up and he's like, hey, I really like your skin tindo idea. I'd like to talk to you guys more about it or whatever. That's the end. Like, well, and then they show, uh, they show like in the future, like, Whatever it is, six months or something, and they're all successful with their game, and it's uh, a really stupid concept. And then that's the end. Yeah. Anything else? We miss anything? I mean, there's a lot we didn't cover, but it was all dumb. It's, it's not worth talking about. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there was any other moments that I even liked, and I'm gonna say no. I I. I was kind of excited to see uh, Daniel Stern from uh, Home Alone, uh-huh. and then he wasn't funny. Yeah. So, yeah how how did you feel about seeing his penis fall off? Were you pretty excited? Uh, and about they that get part? like thrown across the room yeah. at somebody. It's so dumb, and like yeah, it's I'm I, don't know, I male nudity in movies and comedies is. I don't get it. It's like but the lowest life, form of a joke. It. Oh, for sure. Like, were, did you feel shocked every time it happened in this movie? Like, oh, I can't believe they would do that. Like, it just felt hacky, right? No. Yeah, it was hacky. Which, uh, maybe that's what they were going for. I don't know. but it, Hacky. <laughs> if it is, then it's just, it's just not funny. Maybe this is uh, a commentary on bad comedy movies. Let, it could be. Let's do all the things that aren't funny to put a mirror up to society so they have to recognize what they're actually laughing at. There you go. Well, then they nailed it. 100%. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I, 
I like I said, I really didn't find that many things about it funny. No. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like there was one other moment that I did like, but it was so great that I can't even remember it. <laughs> That's generally how great moments happen. Typically. You just get to remember it once and then it's gone. The one other funny joke was when the guy had the briefcase and pulled out a sandwich. The black guy. Oh, yeah. I didn't even care for that. Yeah. And it wasn't great. That's what I, like, that's my point. <laughs> like, that was a, a joke. It was like they set it up and they gave you the punchline. Yeah. And then, uh. No, yeah, it was just a, a quick one off. Yeah. And then when but, they cut back, he's like, they, I, I believe they cut back into the middle of the conversation. I don't remember if the guy actually asked the question, but he answers, he's like, no, man. If I only wanted half a sandwich, I would have just brought half a sandwich. <laughs> like, yeah. No, that, that, that I agree. That was funny. And yeah, they just cut into the middle of it. Yeah. And like, and that, that kind of stuff, that, that stuff works. Cause it, you have to like think about it for a second. You know what I mean? Like it's not like a complicated joke, but like there's at least a tiny bit of nuance to it where everything else. I can't even, I can't even talk about this anymore. I'm, I'm, I must be frustrated than <laughs> anyone who's listening to this. Like I'm just repeating <laughs> myself over and over. Um, yeah. So basically, uh, that's the movie. It's not great. Mark Cuban makes it worse, and in the end. Yep. That's that's really all that I have to say about it. I'm quite disappointed, and if I see a movie with the, the, these three guys in the future, I will be a lot more ca- uh, cautious about it. Yeah. I, or less optimistic about it. Well, I wonder if Adam Devine got a movie deal like similar to Adam Sandler did with Netflix, because he just had... Um, when we first met, come out. He had this come out. Right. Like, I wonder if there's like, if there's gonna be a couple more with him. Um, yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I think he's. I feel like there's something else that he's got coming up. Let's see here. He's got three movies coming up. At some point. <laughs> One of them with uh, Liam Hemsworth. One of them with no one. And then one of them with... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. But uh, No, it doesn't. <laughs> if I... Uh, this... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I I will never watch this movie again. That's a good move. I wouldn't recommend unless anyone watches this movie. Yeah, no, don't even bother. It's not the the couple jokes, the couple funny moments aren't worth sitting through the whole thing. No, like it's not funny. How boring it was to listen to us tell the jokes. I have and a we, feeling that I feel we like did a we made job. it better. <laughs> yeah, which is really saying something. Um, but yeah, so that's game over, man. Uh. We uh, next our next episode coming up is the Hunger Games two. Woo! That is currently up on Patreon. If you want to go for a dollar, you can vote for Taylor or I. Help us decide who has to pay the punishment, and you also get access to all our episodes two weeks in advance. 